YouTube, what's going on? Kevin the Tech Ninja here for A Smarter Home, the YouTube series where I make my house into a smart house. In today's episode, we're taking a look at the Radiant Collection Smart Switch and Dimmer by Legrand. I've had them installed for 30 days and integrated them into my ecosystem. Here are my thoughts. If you've never heard of Legrand, just know that they make some of the best switches, lighting, wall plates, and electrical accessories for the home. I actually already bought a couple of items from my house that I've been using for over a year now. I have their pop-out outlet and also their toggle switches. Listen to this sound. But today's video is about their Smart Radiant Collection. And a big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. However, all opinions are completely of my own. Before I go any further, I did mention that they're sort of a premium brand when it comes to switches and wall plates and cabinet lighting and things like that. And this even shows with the Smart Collection as well. The wall plate is completely screwless. It just snaps on and if you need to disconnect it, you can just pull it back to take it off for whatever reason that is. If you wanna get a different color, they have different color options available on their site too. So if you have a certain color scheme or if you want it to pop a different color, you can definitely do that. So let's begin with this. Who are Smart Switches for and what exactly do they do? Smart switches gives you the ability to control them from anywhere with your voice assistant, your app, or even from the switch itself. So in my house, I installed two normal rocker switches and one smart dimmer for the bedroom. So let's start with the rocker. This is a standard rocker switch with a few subtle design elements like the status LED at the top and the bottom just has this Legrand imprint. And so with the dimmer, the main difference is there's LEDs on the side telling you the dimming levels and also a smaller rocker where I can adjust the levels right from there. And then if I just wanna turn it off, I can just press the big rocker button down or if I wanna turn it back on, I could tap the same button or press up and it turns on. So I have granular control per dimming option or a fast way to turn it off and on. To install it, I do recommend calling an electrician unless you're comfortable with installing different switches. And this setup does require a neutral wire. Setting up the switch is very similar to setting up any smart switch. You cut the power, you pull the old switch out, you connect the wires per the instructions, and then you turn your power back on. Now from here, you can just install the application and then uh, scan the QR code on your phone. Once you connect the light, it's now in your app. You name it and that's pretty much it. Once you're in the app, you'll see your switches under devices. And from here, you just tap on the icon to turn off or on the lights. For dimmers, there is an additional slider that you can use to adjust the levels, or you can still just tap the icon to do a complete toggle. There's a lot of different ways you can work with the lights. So the very first option in here is favorites. So you can make a light one of your favorite options and then it's always in this very first screen. So for example, let's say you have 10 switches in your house and only three of them are ones that you toggle off and on often. So you put those in the very first screen. So under groups, you can link multiple switches together. So let's say you have one room that has three switches. You can call that room den. You just tap on den, it turns the lights off or it turns the lights back on instead of going into each one individually. Within scenes, you can add multiple switches to do different things, even if they're in different groups. With these scenes, you can select multiple switches and then you can schedule them based off time, sunset, sunrise, and date. So for example, let's say at bedtime, you can have the kids' bedroom lights turn off or you can have the hallway light turn on after a certain time so you're not fumbling around for a light switch at night. So this is the spot where you set up all of that automation. As I said in the beginning, this does work with Amazon Echo and Google Home using your voice. So I could say turn off the bedroom or turn off the breakfast nook and it turns off using my voice. Even if you have multiple objects in a room that's Google Home compatible, you go into the app and you see your switches in there and all your other smart home objects, they're all in one happy place. Anyways guys, that was my overview of the Radiant Smart Light and Smart Dimmer. Also, check out their website, especially if you're looking to make your house look a little bit better or you're building a new kitchen or anything like that. I really love what they have going for them from their, um, their under cabinet lighting to their pop-out switches and outlets and um, very nice looking wall plates. And me talking right now is not like just them telling me this, but this is someone who's actually done this in my personal kitchen that I put in my basement and also the switches all around my house that I've done over a year ago. 
And what I like about the Smart Home series is that the quality did not dip off. You still have that premium switch and you still have that premium faceplate that just looks very good. Anyways, guys, I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.